I, I can't tell how big he is. And he looks like he's like way too big for the tank. He's a big boy, he's isn't he? <laughs> He's so happy to have a bigger space to swim around. I can't believe he was in that tank. Oh. Oh. We got one! Ready? What is up, VFP Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video, guys. Today, I am super excited. Basically, I was on offer up yesterday browsing the fish tanks because I want more fish tanks. And I came across this ad, and uh, I'm gonna pop the ad up on the screen right now. It was a 55 gallon tank, and as you can tell by the pictures, I was, that that's not what caught my eye. That's not what I was interested in. What I was interested in was the fish inside of the tanks. Inside of the tank was this arowana that looked pretty freaking big. I, I can't tell how big he is, but he looks a decent size and he looks like he's like way too big for the tank anyways so he's got to be of decent size there was like some parrot cichlids in there as well but if you guys didn't know i've never had an arowana in my life and i've wanted one for so long it's one of my dream fish so i found this ad i messaged the person i was like are you selling the fish as well or just the tank and they were like you can take everything for 200 bucks so today we're going there we're picking up the fish we're picking up the tank all that stuff and yeah basically what i'm trying to say is we got a new pet arowana today and it's going in the pond so my friend brandon's going to meet us there right now Will this go smoothly? Who knows? Will we get it done? abso freaking lootly Let's go set up everything we need. We're gonna need a cooler. We're gonna need a net. All that stuff. We gotta be super prepared because I don't know how big this fish is. So yeah, this is gonna be a really fun video, guys. Go down there, hit the like button. I know a lot of you have been wanting me to get an arowana as well. Let's get all the stuff rigged up and head to this person's house and grab ourselves a new arowana. We have all the supplies in the truck. We got this thing just in case they don't have one. We got a bucket. We got aerator. We got two coolers, depending on how big the arowana is. We got some nets to scoop them out. We're on our way to their house now. This is my first time ever picking something up from OfferUp. I literally got the app yesterday. I'm already getting an arowana and a new fish tank. So we're gonna have some fun adventures with some OfferUp. We're gonna be doing this a lot. Okay guys, we just pulled up. We're gonna bring the smaller cooler. I don't know how big this fish is yet, so we might need the bigger one, but for now, because this is an apartment complex. I don't know if we're gonna have to freaking drag this fish up like five stories, but this. Sound good? Yep. Aerator. That should, I, that should be it. Let's go over there, guys, and uh, catch this fish. Oh. He's a big boy, He's isn't he? He's huge. <laughs> yeah, we might need a bigger cooler. Probably we have to pop out. Do you have, oh, you have There we go. Yeah, we can just fill the cooler up with that. I don't know. I don't think so. Dude, he's big. He's good. Oh, they get much bigger than that. <laughs> Alright, the cooler's filled up. Brandon, you're gonna carry the cooler, right? I want, I want to know not soon so it doesn't get too stressed. No mess. Are you cleaning up? He don't make a big splash. Come on, Bobby. Thumbs up in the chat. <laughs> oh. It's going sideways almost. <laughs> Come on, fish wrestler. Is gonna go now? Shut up now. Come on, bud. Wait for him to turn around. These guys are cool. Jump out, At least it's dark in there, so they don't. Come on, little guy. These things are massive. Huh? Jeez. Right, Whew, that was a lot of work, Brandon. We got it. Fish in here, tank stand. We got him though, there he is in there. He's looking good. 
Guys, we got the air water right now. He's in the back. Man, that was a lot of work because like they were in an apartment seven stories up, so we, <laughs> we had to carry the fish tank, all that stuff. We got the air water. We're gonna head home. He's looking good. He's looking good. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. We'll see you guys back at the house. I was just ready all by myself. See? Super Open easy. it. Let's see it. Oh, oh it's gold no. now. He's a golden one. Wow. Yo, this guy, he's been on a journey today. Imagine this. So these guys, these guys have had them for four years, right? Since he was this big. Now he has been stripped from his home, thrown into a cooler, gone down seven stories, and now he's going here. He's, he's probably like, what is going on? Okay, guys, sorry if we didn't get too much footage. I mean, we but we needed all of our hands uh, to get this done. It was a lot of work, but we got the fish. We're going to start acclimating them to the pond. Look at this, yo. Look at the job the Playcos have done already. I mean, that's in one day. That's a full day. So a couple more days, the whole pond should be crystal freaking clear. What we're going to do is since this is pulled up all the way, look. We're going to drain out some of that water and add some of the pond water, you know, little by little and acclimate him to the pond. And then we're gonna throw him in. He's gonna look so sick. Yo, it's a good thing we got the netting on top of this because this guy likes to jump. They said he's jumped four times in the past. So this guy, it's a good thing we got the net or else he would be, look at him, dude. I think that, that thing on, on top of his head is like where he jumped from the past. He, like got, he got knocked up a little bit. It is so cool, dude. First ever air one on the channel, guys. I'm super excited. Go down there, hit the like button if you're excited as well. We're gonna cut to when this guy's fully acclimated and then he's going straight into the pond. It's gonna be sick. What the hell are you doing? Oh, smash the like button. Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, who's ready? Oh, 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 oh. We have a dog. <laughs> you ready? Oh, he's excited. You guys excited? Oh, hello. You wanna come home? Got him, baby. Let's go. Look at that. Nice. Put him in. Here we go. Here we go, boy. Let's go. Be free. Go live your life. Oh my gosh. He looks so sick. Oh, he's looking at the bass. <laughs> Bro, look at him. Oh my gosh, dude. He looks like he's albino in there. Oh, That's crazy. There's the arowana. Yo, he looks so sick. Right Dude, now. he looks so sick. Yeah, look at him. He's, he's squared up against the other fish like, yo, let, leave me alone, man. Oh my gosh. Look at him, dude. We got the arowana in, he's down there. You can kind of see him. I got this going just to create a lot more oxygen for him just cause he's, you know, super stressed. I got some salt down in there for him. So he should be good. Now we got these things. Yo, Brandon, I say we put these things in the koi pond. What do you think? Let's do it. Dude, look at these. These guys are so cool. These are the biggest parrot fish, parrot cichlids I have ever freaking seen, dude. They're literally the size of my hand. That is crazy, dude. Check this out. Look at these freaking parrot cichlids. I've never had these either, so we've never had arowanas or these fish, so they're both new to us. But look at them. They're so cool. They're massive. Those things are actually huge. All right, here we go. There you go, guys. <laughs> oh, they're so freaking cool. Look at them. Bro, they're so fat. That is so sick. All right, they're gonna be doing great. Also, we put the garamis in here, guys. We we took them out of the fountain because that was a, too small. We put them in here. They are doing great, dude. I come out here, they're like weaving in between the lily pads. They're coming up for food already. So everything is doing great in here. We're gonna do a next day sort of update for you guys in this video. We're gonna check back tomorrow and see how the arowana is doing. But yeah, that was sick, guys. It is the next day. Let's check on the arowana. Here we go. Oh my god, he's gone. Oh my god, the arowana is gone, guys. Just freaking kidding, April Fools. It's, well, it's April Fools for me, so it still counts. I moved the arowana yesterday when I put him in. I just, I couldn't sleep sound knowing that the arowana was in here because I was a little afraid the bass was going to attack him. Bane right here has grown into a pretty freaking aggressive bass. I mean, look at him follow my, my hand. Look at this, like he's super aggressive. When I put the arowana in, he wasn't like really attacking him, but he was kind of chasing him around a little bit and it was stressing the fish out, it was stressing me out. So I moved the arowana into this pool pond, which I think is a much better decision. I got the netting on this one as well. I got it all arowana proofed. It's really sunny out. The netting, it sucks with the netting because you know, there's some glare with the netting and you can't really see in the water as well. 
but it's better for the fish. Oh, here he comes now. There he is. Oh my God. Oh, look at that, dude. Oh, look at him. That is so sick, dude. Oh, I can't believe we got a freaking arowana. Look at this fish, guys. Wow. That is the coolest fish ever. I'm not, oh my gosh. He looks amazing in there. He really matches the theme, doesn't he? Everything's like like orange and gold, and, and so is he. He looks great in here. Look at him go, dude. So yeah, that is our brand new arowana. Guys, go down to the comments, drop some names. But this embarks a whole new journey on the channel, guys. Like, first ever arowana. We're gonna start getting more and more really awesome cool fish like this guy. And yeah, let me know what else you want me to get. I mean, we got tons of room. Tons of room. Also, we're building another pond back there, so we can literally have any fish we want. I, I'm so happy, dude. I can literally sit here and watch him all day. He's just doing laps. He's doing laps around the pond. He's so happy to have a bigger space to swim around. I can't believe he was in that tank. I mean, seeing how big he is now, it's it's crazy to think he was in there. He definitely could could barely turn around in there. It's crazy. So so uh, yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to leave the netting on, which sucks, but it's best of the fish. Also, guys, when I'm doing videos like this where I'm getting a fish, filming kind of you know takes a step down on priority list. The fish's health and all that just goes to main priority, and that's really you know what I focus on so like when I was moving him from this pond to this pond and all that and getting him squared away making sure he was good I wasn't filming any of that just because you know I wanted to give him all my attention and really make sure he was okay and he is dude oh my gosh he's so cool but now we get to film him all we want we get to show you guys everything let's go let's go get some shrimp and try to feed them uh I'm gonna feed all the fish okay here's what I'm starting to feed the fish and they are loving it we're gonna thaw it out. Yeah, a little Placo update. The Placos, as you can tell, guys, they're getting there. They started working on the backside. You can see that. Almost all of the floor is completely cleaned out, which is so cool. Our big old, our, oh my God, what are you eating, bro? I didn't throw anything in there. They're ready to go. So once the shrimp is thawed out, we're gonna feed them and we're also gonna try and feed the air one. There he is. You can see there on his head, that little, I don't know what that is. I am assuming that's when he got beat up from when he jumped out of his tank those four times. He got dinged up on the head a little bit, I guess, but he should be he should be okay. That should heal. As for the tank goes, I got it set up inside in the fish room and it is cycling right now. So while the tank is cycling, guys, I need you to drop some suggestions on what to put in there. I didn't realize how much sun this pond gets in the middle of the day. Here we go. You guys will probably get to see a lot. Wait for it. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Oh, you can see the little flashes down there. Paku's Pac-Man's facing the other way. He needs to face this way. He doesn't see it. Here comes Pac-Man. He's eating some pellets. Look at him. This is what I'm talking about. He just follows the arowana around. Oh, he's coming up. Coming up for the pellets. Okay, back into his cave. Oh, here he comes. Nice. <laughs> now, the really good thing about having fish like, like Pac-Man that'll come up and eat pellets on top is it's really easy for the other fish to pick up on it. So the arowana is going to see him eating the pellets and then soon the arowana is going to eat the pellets. It's a lot easier to get new fish to eat when you have existing fish that'll just eat anything. That is so cool, dude. Yo, Pac-Man's getting freaking huge. I can tell because he barely fits in his cave now. So that just shows he is getting huge. Look at him. Look at him, bro. He's going to town on the pellets. <laughs> it's not often you guys get to see Pac-Man doing this. He doesn't do this every day. Some days he won't come up. Some days I gotta go in there and hand feed him. Oh, I can't wait for you guys to name him. We gotta get some good names. What's up, buddy? God, he looks so sick in here. He looks amazing. There we go. Got it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh! Get a piece. There he goes. Oh, he spit it out. I don't know what it is about Wayne, but he is so picky. He's the most picky fish I've ever had. All right, we got a few pieces of shrimp here. We're gonna feed maybe the arowana. We'll see if he eats. Oh. Nope, not today. A couple more pieces for you guys. Come on. Eat it, Wayne. Like, what is he doing? Did you see that? Okay, well, I tried. You guys saw. I tried. All right, Mr. Arowana. Dude, look at him. You can see him anywhere. 
Wherever he is in the pond, you can always see him. That's what I love about him. Ooh, here comes the parrots. <laughs> Dude, he's massive. Oh my god. Oh, there's the other one. Anyways, guys, that'll do it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, go down there, hit the like button. Also, I think like 80% of you guys who watch the videos aren't subscribed yet. So go down there, check if you're subscribed. If not, hit the button. You'll see my videos every other day. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. I definitely did. Can't believe we got an arowana in the pond. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.